A lot of times dogs tend to break out around their mouth or get redness around their mouth and Yo, what's up guys? Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Everyday Inc. Welcome back to Only Ace Bully Camp. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and dab on that subscribe button. And don't forget when you subscribe over here, you're not just a subscriber. No! You part of the family now with that being said if you're not a part of squad join the eight squad now also make sure you go ahead and smack that notification bell that way you know when your boys about to drop some new heat because i do drop new heat on a regular basis so stay tuned then let's go so guys today we are here to talk about american bully skin problems guys um many of these dogs have problems due to the type of food they may be eating they might have uh a problem with their skin due to an area that they might be sleeping in. They might have a skin problem due to another dog that they're around. They might have a skin problem due to a bad soap you may have used or maybe a bad treat that you have given them. Um, or just fleas and ticks, anything, y'all. Honestly, uh, a bully can have a skin problem because a fart went left <laughs> you know what i mean so it's just something that happens sometimes it's just something you want to keep an eye on so i'm here today to give y'all guys a few tips and tricks to help out with those skin problems that your bull may or may not be having a lot of times guys um it can be due to the food that you are feeding them so with that being said if it's food, a lot of times dogs tend to break out around their mouth or get redness around their mouth and their nose. And sometimes even their stomach may break out um, into red hives. You know what I'm saying? You might have a few little bumps or just redness in the stomach area or redness in the mouth area. Um, sometimes they can be as simple as switching the dog's food. It's, the food may be too strong for them. They might be allergic to something specific in that food. With that being said, that doesn't mean you have to switch your dog food brands. You may just have to switch to a different food in that same brand that you like feeding. Sometimes it's necessary to completely switch brands. You just have to find what's comfortable for you and what's comfortable for your bull. Um, something else that I've noticed. I, matter of fact, let me show y'all what Gamora is dealing with right now. Come here, Gamora. Hey, y'all check out Gamora's side. I'm not sure if y'all can see. She got a, a, a few little skin. Look at that. Y'all can see a little bit right there. A few little skin irritations here and there, kind of on both sides, y'all. Um, for some reason, Gamora tends to break out when I come to my mother's house. Um, at my mom's house, I tend to see a few more fleas, a few more um, ticks. Um, I guess just because we're in a different area in Georgia, maybe it's just a little bit different or just at my mom's house. Um, of course, her yard is not treated like mine is at home, which is something you definitely want to do, guys. But we'll talk about that in another video. But it could be as simple as to your dog sleeping in a new area of your home. Maybe you need to clean that area, sanitize it a little bit more, um, and try to sanitize it on a, a not so much of a daily basis, but maybe maybe a weekly basis, or maybe try to sanitize and clean the area that your dog is in about um, maybe twice a week. You know what I mean? That could definitely help. Um, something that you want to do is you want to get a nice medicated dog soap, guys. I actually have one. I don't have one to show y'all in this video, but you can pretty much get medicated soap almost anywhere from your local tractor supply or your local feed store or even, honestly, um, believe it or not, Walmart ha carries a great um, medicated shampoo. So the first thing you want to do is get that medicated shampoo. You want to get that flea and tick shampoo. Um, if you find that the root cause to your dog's skin irritation may be fleas or ticks or whatever. You want to find out the root um, to what your dog is dealing with. Um, generally, if I see something like that on Gamora, I know this is as simple as, hey, I'm at my mom's house, so she's exposed to a different area. Um also, I know if I give her a medicated bath, then that's generally going to help knock whatever this is out. So if I can 
pull her coat in the opposite direction um i can clearly see that hey she's not struggling with a flea problem she doesn't have any fleas so that's the number one thing you want to do you want to take your dog take your hand and pull your dog's coat in the opposite direction take your time and see if your dog has fleas uh, because it's a simple fix you can obviously do a flea and tick bath and get your dog dipped so you don't have to worry about that no more and then i'm pretty sure their skin irritation will go away um now if you're leaning towards more of a serious problem hair loss or open wounds in the skin then it's time for you to go see your vet um and your vet is probably going to have the best solution sometimes the vets don't even know what it is and it takes them a minute to just um try different medications on your dog and just to be able to help your dog also i want to talk to y'all about excessive shedding uh of course a regular bath could help with excessive shedding of course brushing your dog on a, a weekly basis could help with excessive shedding also um excessive shedding shampoo guys you can also give your dogs um a medicine that will help with shedding walmart also carries that too and you could also ask your vet for uh, um like a shedding medicine or a medicine that could help them um prevent shedding to the extent that they are shedding if they're shedding excessively so that's definitely something you can do definitely something you can look into that will be helpful guys but with that being said man just try your best to keep the area that your dog is in your house clean well i'm sorry <laughs> try to keep the area clean where your dog is in your home if your dog is outside um make sure you treat your yard that treat the area of your yard that your dog is in if your dog is in a garage thoroughly clean the garage and um of course you want to give them medicated baths and if you can if it's to that extent you want to take them to a vet um if it's a food thing you want to try a different food remember i told y'all um this is from my experience and from me dealing with um rashes from food if it's food their mouth will tend to break out um not just break out but turn red their stomachs will turn red and um eventually the skin under their coat will start to get irritated too if it's food guys but one of the first signs if it's food is the mouth being red and the stomach being red come here come here gamora gamora you better come here girl come here hard-headed but yeah that's something you want to look into guys and uh be careful at these dog parks too man you don't know how people take care of their dogs they might not take care of their dog to the extent that you can take care of your dog and they could have rubbed up against another dog and just got a flea on them or or just something as simple as being around another dirty dog could have caused their coat to have problems guys so it's a lot of it's a lot of scenarios that could be for your dog skin problem um just wanted to give you guys a couple little tips that you could do maybe before you go cash out at a vet uh definitely try a good medicated shampoo um if it's food try to switch foods and um honestly like i said with if it's an excessive shedding thing then you can get medicine for that at walmart too or you can speak to your vet about that too guys but um just try to take notes on what your dog is dealing with uh try to keep an eye out on when their skin becomes irritated or when their skin becomes inflamed if it's more inflamed while they're eating or when they tend to eat or after they eat um if it's more inflamed from them running outside and coming back in the house or like i said try switching out the area that you have your dog located in your house that may help guys so um it's a lot that could go into it i just wanted to share that with you all all right double check y'all i thought i seen gamora dripping some blood watch out now we got a breed coming up soon y'all i still ain't told y'all about the stud that's coming next look at y'all look at how she doing that she's scooting on her butt y'all know they tend to do that when they get ready to come in and stuff like that it's probably been about almost a good four months more i got a a little bit longer before we get to that next that next breeding though guys but hopefully i was able to help 
some of y'all today family and if i was give your boy a big like you feel me uh give your boy a big thumbs up it's well appreciated and uh as always man coming to you guys with love joy prosperity kindness and i'm um, sending all of that to you guys from this side of the camera to your side of the screen man i love you guys stay safe stay blessed and i will see you guys in the very next video